Hi, Rebecca here from RCB Mediation Services, your conflict resolution and prevention strategist. Today I'm going to tell you a story that really helped when I was training to be a mediator, and it's the story of the orange. You see, when I was learning to be a mediator, one of the things I found most difficult was to set aside my tendency as a lawyer to see the solution to the problem and to leap in and make that suggestion. As a lawyer, we're trained and conditioned, and I think often um, it's in our nature to try and solve problems as quickly as possible. We're very, very conscious of the costs mounting up, and so what we tend to do is we tend to leap in to our client's defence and tell them what to do to fix the problem. And we're also very much one-sided, we're very focused on our client's issues, and we don't really look at the situation holistically. This story, which I'm about to share with you, has been passed down from mediator to mediator through the generations, and really helped me to understand the difference between negotiating and mediating between positions and interests. So, imagine if you will you have two children, and they both come to you wanting an orange. But there's only one orange left in the fruit bowl. So what do you do? Well, many parents decide to divide the orange in two and give one half to each child. And they feel as though they've resolved the issue, they've resolved the conflict. But in this scenario, in this example, the children are not happy. Neither child is happy with their one half of the orange. You see, one child was baking a cake and wanted the rind from the whole orange to put in to the batter. The other child had been outside playing and running around and was thirsty, so wanted to squeeze the juice from the orange for a drink. Neither child had as much as they needed to do what it was they wanted to do with the orange. And that's what we call in mediation the interests. One child's interest was the juice, the other child's interest was the rind. Had the parent mediator taken the time to ask each child what they wanted the orange for, they would have discovered that each child in fact could have 100% of what they needed. The thirsty child could have cut the orange in half, squeezed the juice for their drink, and then given the rind to the other child to grate and put into the cake batter. And that, for me, really helped to understand the importance of the exploration phase of mediation. And that's why you'll hear me ask quite often, tell me more about this. What is it that you're trying to achieve? How would that look? Until next time, I'm Beck from RCB Mediation Services.